Good morning, friends. Coach Campbell here. It is April 28th, 2020. Let's begin in prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, let me play well but fairly. Let competition make me strong but never hostile. Forbid me to rejoice in the adversity of others. See me not when I am cheered, but when I bend down to help my opponent up. If I know victory, allow me to be happy. If I am denied, keep me from envy. Remind me that sports are just games. Help me to learn something that matters once the game is over. And if through athletics I set an example, let it be a good one. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, so we are over a month, a month? Oh my gosh, it seems so crazy. Into the whole social distancing, quarantining, being at home. And as I touch my face twice. Um... Uh, but um, I've had a lot of parents reach out to me, a few parents reach out to me and say, my kids are chomping at the bit. They're like, it was fun for the first several weeks. It was great being home. They got to sleep in. But now I'm hearing I'm bored. And that is an expression that I do not like at all. I um, am never bored. There's always plenty of work to do around my house. There's always exciting things that I could be checking out. So Anytime my kids say they're bored, I always let them know that I could use help to clean the kitchen floor. And so they don't say it very often. But if they do say, Mom, I don't know what to do. I, I don't want to do this anymore or that. Um, I've had that happen a couple times at the beginning of this whole thing. And so we sat down and I told my kids that we weren't getting up until we had 25 items that they could do on their own or with little oversight for me. So that when they weren't sure what to do, they could go to their list and check it out. So here's the Campbell family list. And I keep it posted right there so that the kids can see it at any time. But it's just a list of different things that they can do. I'm going to go through them super fast. Your list is obviously going to look different because your family's interested in different things. But here's my 25 items. And they actually end up making 29 um, items of things that they can do. So one, reading, biking, math on street pad, swim, and again, that requires oversight, but I can do schoolwork out there while they're swimming. So color, cook, and that's in the play kitchen. Cooking in a real cook kitchen requires more oversight. Play with Rhino, who's our guinea pig, or our dog. Walk, dance, do their hair, do their makeup, Nerf gun fights, skate, scooter, write letters, Create plays, Legos, pray, FaceTime friends. Again, in the same room is what our policy is, but you probably have your own policy. Um, bake, watch documentaries. And I would recommend being in the area just so you can kind of keep eyes on them, what they're watching, but that's, again, me personally. Um, oh, playground. We have a local playground that our kids are allowed to go to together. Uh, board games, Play-Doh, paint. Whittle, again with a little supervision, pull-ups, gymnastics, and ping pong. So that's my kids, what they like to do for fun. I suggest if you have a problem with kids not knowing what to do, coming up with a list. Because I think sometimes, even for us grown-ups in this time, we're like, we can get very, our thinking can be very focused. And we have a whole big world that's still available to us. Um, within our house, within our, our tiny community, whatever it may be that you have access to. But sitting down and brainstorming what you do have access to. And then if you do realize that you don't have access to some of these things, some of the basic things like Legos or Play-Doh or paint or books, um, colors, things like that that you can always do inside your house that are a lot of fun, and can, can consume a child for a, a lot of time, please reach out. Um, I know that I'm happy to share any of those items that we have. And I would guess that a lot of people around you might feel the same way. Even if I'm not close enough to share, please reach out to me. I, I can hook you up with someone that can share some of those items with you. Um, so lots of fun things to do. Think about what's fun for your family and maybe write them down. And then you hopefully won't have to hear the awful, I'm bored. 
I love you guys. I'm proud of you. Keep up the good work. Know that I'm a phone call away. Um, reach out for help if you need it. I just again read yesterday or the day before, the bravest thing a person can ever say is help. So if you need help, don't hesitate to ask. I love you guys. Proud of you. Keep up the good work.